flaws you have? You know, I can get hangry a lot of times. They get kind of cranky and snippy. Now, hangry. Well, they must have kept Becca well fed because she found love. TV's new Bachelorette revealed she does get engaged at the end of the season, which begins Monday on ABC. But who is more likely to live happily ever after, Becca and her man or Prince Harry and Meghan? We put that exact question to host Chris Harrison. The royal couple probably has a better chance only because they have to. <laughs> Bachelor and Bachelorette couples, they have to live in the real world. And so it's probably tougher for them than it is the Royals. Uh, not exactly a vote of confidence from Chris, but when you consider the last three bachelorettes from the series are still with her final picks, well, Becca's got to feel pretty good. Bring on the mix. A lot of guys fell in love with Becca. And she has a lot of strong feelings for maybe more than one man. So just who are the 28 guys vying for Becca's heart? Well, five of them are current or former pro athletes. There's a social media participant who posts a lot of shirtless pics. And a Hollywood stuntman who looks like Jason Momoa. He's been growing his hair for 10 years. Why, why, why? Oh, and there's this guy. Jean Blanc is a Kelowna sewer. I don't think that's an actual job. But I think he has 250 different scents. Becca is 28, and the men range in age from 25 to 31, but it sounds as if some of them aren't grown up enough to avoid the drama. You will witness some of the craziest arguments and incidents that have ever taken place. Worst than Ari, dude. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, my. Oh, listen, we know that someone out there will find true love. <laughs>